Hello again from Blues Domino. Just another string review. Actually, this is a little bit of an update about the Elixir Polyweb strings. And as you can see with this little close-up shot, you can see that the coating on those strings has come off at the pick attack of the string. It has, uh, right from the beginning, it's not like uh, I play real hard. I'm kind of a hobbyist to play about an hour a day. And this is not the only guitar that I play out of that time. I play a little blues and rock. Not anything really heavy. But the uh, coating came off of that string. And uh, as you can see, this string set has just kind of uh, died on us. And it's seen its last legs. I haven't seen a set of strings do this in a long, long, long time. I did pop a B and an E string. In fact, two E strings along the way. So as far as a quality review is concerned, on the Elixir Polyweb strings, I'd give them kind of a thumbs down. In fact, I've got another set of these that I think I'd probably just go ahead and donate to somebody. Um, you know, the string sounded great. It was a little bit of, uh, you know, tuning instability. Once you got the string stretched out and uh, worn in, they were, you know, pretty good sounding. But then the sound just died all of a sudden. And, of course, I was playing last night, and that last uh, D string was it. So uh, the next strings that we're going to put on, I'm going to put on what I had before. And that was the Diodero's, the Chromes, and they're the uh, warm and mellow tone flat wound string, 10 to 48, so it's a little heavier gauge, but that's all right, especially if you like to tune down a half a step. The one thing that I'm going to change on there is the, uh, you know, the 20 is a wound string, that third string. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change that to a regular Ernie Ball 18 plain and uh, that's what I did the last time. I, you know, I figured I'd try this set of strings out you know, to find out what the whole uh, flat wound deal was all about. You get a little bit of a more mellow sound. But the big thing is because they're polished and flat, they have a smoother feel to them. And they also sound fantastic. Tough thing is, is with that third wound string, I found myself working too hard to bend. And uh, that's why I'm going to go ahead and change that out to a plain string. So that'll be the new set. In fact, I think this is probably the set of strings. If you want a uh, blues domino recommendation as to what strings I should play if I like blues and rock, uh, this is be the official one that I would choose. Would be the Diodaro XL Chromes Warm and Mellow Tone Flat Wound 10 to 48. The only thing is, is I would go ahead and change that 20 out for an 18 plane and we'll go from there so we'll go ahead and string it up and let you give a listen uh, normally I like to do a before and after so you can get a good idea what the tone is but uh, these elixirs uh, bit the dust a little bit ahead of schedule so that's the official Blues Domino review of the elixirs uh, I give them a thumbs down I wouldn't recommend them to anybody all right, well, welcome back from Blues Domino. We've got the string change taken care of. We've got the claw adjusted. Strings are staying uh, in great tune right now. Tuned down a half a step to E flat. And uh, I, evidently the string change was successful because sure enough, I pissed off my wife by playing a little of the SRV Greatest Hits, playing along, uh, kind of cranked up a little bit. She's screaming at the top of her lungs. And try to get my attention and of course I'm in the middle of uh, you know playing a little voodoo child and I said but honey it's voodoo child and she didn't understand but anyhow the tone on these set of strings is by far the best that I've experienced if you want a tone like SRV Kenny Wayne Shepherd what have you I know all those guys use strats I know they use some kind of version of a Texas single coil pickups, mm -hmm. and I know that they used uh, a heavier gauge string. So that's what this is, and the beauty of it is that it's smooth. There's no bite on the string against your fingers, so you can cruise up and down the fretboard all night long, playing till your heart's content. You can bend, 
you can just scream along or you can play nice and mellow too and get all of that warm sound so uh, this is blues domino saying that the best set of strings that a person can get especially for blues is the Diodaro XL chromes and that's the warm and mellow flat wound string and that's the set of uh, 10 to 48 be it uh, in that set they've got a 20 wound the third string I replaced that with an 18 plain steel so I can get my bends going <laughs> So nice, nice sweet tone, and I suggest you all go out and try a pair of these strings, or a set of these strings. Play to your heart's content. Let me know in the comments section how you like it. That's how I like it. So you guys, uh, hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Blues Domino out.